In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray. O God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Chapter 24, verses 35 to 48. At that time, the two disciples told what had happened on the road to Emmaus, and how Jesus was known to them in the breaking of the bread. As they were saying this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were startled and frightened, and supposed that they saw a spirit, and he said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do questionings rise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for the Spirit has not flesh and bones, as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still disbelieved for joy and wondered, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate before them. Then he said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written that the scripture that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that to repentance and forgiveness of sins should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to these things. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, today I have chosen the theme, You are called to be a witness of Christ. My dear good listener, it is Saint Pope Paul VI who says that modern man listens more willingly to witnesses than to teachers. And if he does listen to teachers, it's because they are witnesses. Meaning, therefore, that today, more than ever, Christians, non-Christians are looking for witnesses. And who is a witness? A witness is one who puts in practice what he or she has heard or he or she has acquired. So the question therefore is what have we acquired from Jesus? Because we are called to be witnesses to his resurrection. That's why in the gospel text we have heard, Jesus still appears to his disciples and tells them, peace to you. And so he shows to them that he is alive. He eats. He talks. He invites them to touch his flesh, to see his bones, so that they may believe that he is the one. Therefore, my dear good listener, the question I have to ask ourselves, therefore, is do I really believe Jesus is alive? And do I live a life of the resurrection? My dear good listener, Jesus refers to the words he used to tell them, and he opens Again, the Holy Scriptures, he quotes Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms, just like he did yesterday with the disciples who are going to the house. So he shows that he came to fulfill what was written in the Scriptures. He helps them to understand the Scriptures. And it is after that that he tells them that you are witnesses of these things. Whatever they have listened, whatever they have acquired from him, the repentance, the forgiveness of sins, they too must preach to the whole world. My dear good listener, you and I are called to be witnesses of Christ. We are called to be witnesses of that which we have read, we have understood, of that which we have received from Jesus Christ, the many gifts he has given to us. We are witnesses of all these things. So therefore, you and I are called to be witnesses because we have experienced Jesus. These disciples are called to be witnesses after making an experience of Jesus' resurrection. Have I experienced that really Jesus is risen? Do I live the life of resurrection? Or am I still living in darkness? My dear good listener, today the world needs witnesses. The world needs people who walk the talk. 
not who just babble, but people who have listened to Jesus Christ have made an experience with him. In the day of St. Faustina number 1521, Jesus told her, My daughter, do not tire of proclaiming my mercy. In this way you will refresh this heart of mine which burns with the flame of pity for sinners. Tell my priests that hardened sinners will repent on hearing their words when they speak about my unfathomable mercy, about the compassion I have for them in my heart. To priests who proclaim and extol my mercy, I will give wondrous power. I will anoint their words and touch the hearts of those to whom they will speak. So my dear good listener, just like St. Faustina was called to be a witness of God's mercy and tell the same to priests, so we have been forgiven and Jesus is sending us to be witnesses of the repentance and forgiveness of sins. May we therefore pray that the mercy of God may fear us. Today is the seventh day of our novena. We are just left with two days to finish it. May we continue to ask God to feel his mercy in us. The Lord be with you. And may the God of love and mercy bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I wish you the best of the day and kindly share this good news with your friends.